Hey guys, what's up? This is Timo Denk. In this video I'm going to talk about object-oriented programming in PHP. This video is an introduction for experienced developers who are already familiar with at least one object-oriented programming language. So I'm not going to explain what an object is and how a class works and all that around. You can create a class with the class keyword, as shown on the right hand side. Um, new objects can be created with the new keyword, as you can see in the line below. Uh, methods and attributes have the three modifiers, public, private and protected. Be careful, um, in PHP public is the default modifier, so this is different from Java and C Sharp and other programming languages. Methods and attributes can be accessed with the object name and a minus and a greater than sign followed by the attribute or the method name. The this keyword works the same as it does in other programming languages. It simply refers to the current object. The constructor is being defined using two underscores and construct as you can see at the second point. This is different from other programming languages which sometimes use the class name for the constructor. Static classes, methods and attributes can be defined using the static keyword, but their access differentiates from non-static members because you can access them with two colons and the class name in front. The uh, example on the right side shows how that works. Inside a class, static members can be accessed using the self keyword. The third point on the left side shows an example of the self keyword usage. Inheritance can be accomplished using the extends keyword, accessing methods and attributes of the parent class can be done with the parent keyword. The equivalent in Java would be super and in C sharp base. Constant properties differentiate a lot from normal properties because they are not assigned using a dollar prefix and with the constant keyword. By convention, their identifiers are uppercase. Constant class members can be accessed using the class name followed by two columns and the identifier. Abstract classes force method implementation in deriving classes and they can be declared with the abstract keyword. The example on the right side shows how an abstract method can be declared and how its implementation looks in a deriving class. Type checking is an important thing in PHP since you do not declare variables with a type. On the left side of the slide I have listed a few functions allowing you to check for a few types. On the right side is an example of the isBool function. The instance of keyword allows you to determine whether an object belongs to a specific class. But keep in mind that checking instance of against the subclass of the class in question will return true. PHP allows you to define functions which only accept parameters of a specific type. The example on the right side shows the function write, which only accepts the parameter being of type class name. The two lines below call the function with an integer which would cause an error and with a valid object of type class name which would not cause an error. In PHP variables can have the value null. There are three cases where this might happen. The first one is that the variable has been assigned to the value null. The second is that the variable has not been set to any value yet. And the third one is that the unset method has been called and the object or the variable has been passed as the first parameter.